The safety of personnel is the number one priority of all companies involved in offshore production. And the lifting of personnel under any circumstance should be viewed as a high-risk operation. Although every effort is made to ensure the safety of the personnel involved, in many cases the method used for marine personnel transfer hasn't fundamentally changed over the last 40 years. That is until Reflex Marine introduced the Frog Personnel Transfer Capsule. The need for marine personnel transfer remains unavoidable, whether for routine or emergency operations. There will always be a requirement for this kind of transfer. That's why Reflex Marine felt it was time for a change. The Frog is designed with a low center of gravity, buoyancy, and a stainless steel protective frame. This makes the unit extremely strong and stable, and also offers excellent floating and self-riding capabilities if immersed in water. Passengers are given protection from falls, whiplash, lateral and vertical impacts by the use of bucket seats mounted on a fully sprung platform which are fitted with four-point harnesses. The three landing feet also provide extra shock protection to the passengers and are of an anti-skid design. The tripod style base helps when landing on a heaving vessel and uneven surfaces. The design of the frog has been independently reviewed and approved by the Bureau of Veritas and the DNB. So what do you need to know if you're going to be a passenger on the frog? Firstly, we recommend all personnel should always wear the required personal protective equipment, a personal flotation device, and if appropriate, a survival suit. Prior to any transfer, all passengers should be briefed on the frog operating procedures and any special requirements. When it's time to get on board, the deck crew or banksman will let you know. Do not approach the unit until you have been informed to do so. When entering or exiting the frog, you should keep an eye on the position of the slings to avoid entanglement. Each corner of the frog is designed to hold luggage. Place your bag securely within the netting. Now you can sit down and strap in. Take your time, it's important to do this properly for a secure fit. Firstly, fasten the stainless steel clip. For a secure fit around the waist and shoulders, it's important to tighten the lower straps first, then the upper straps. There are handrails fitted for added security and peace of mind. Let the deck crew know when you're ready and they will double check that you and your luggage are secure. Now it's time to sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. On liftoff, you may feel the seat move. This is the shock absorbing spring. You will also notice how stable the unit is, and even in relatively high winds. Prior to liftoff, you may have been advised to kick out the tag line during the transfer. If so, do this while you are clear of the installation. If this is necessary, the deck crew will give you clear instructions prior to liftoff. Whether landing on a vessel or installation, passengers should never alight until given the all clear by the banksman or boat crew. Once given the all clear, you should unfasten, collect any luggage, and move directly away from the unit to a safe area. Finally, please ensure that you return your personal flotation device to the deck crew ready for the next transfer. As with most potentially hazardous operations carried out in the offshore environment, the safety of personnel can be greatly improved by careful and systematic pre-job planning. Environmental conditions and specific risks must be assessed. To assist with this, Reflex Marine provides a useful transfer log. This is an excellent way to record your operations and provide feedback. You will find a copy in your Frog Technical Manual along with all recommended operating and inspection procedures. The unit should be visually inspected prior to every transfer. 
The recommended inspection procedure is clearly laid out on the instruction diagram and notes on the inside of the capsule. You will also find our recommended operating limits. As the person who is responsible for the lifting operation, it's advised that you always carry out a pre-transfer briefing to all persons involved. It is also vital that a good line of communication is established between the installation and the vessel. As an experienced crane operator, you have been trained how to conduct safe lifting operations. When lifting, lowering, and landing the frog, your degree of caution should be no different to other personnel transfer operations you have carried out. When landing the frog on the deck of a vessel, slack should always be released to prevent any snatching due to vessel heave and to provide occupants with plenty of time to enter and exit the frog. This is a different procedure to a rope basket transfer, which relies on the crane operator to keep the soft rope basket upright during entry and exit. It is generally recommended that approximately 10 feet or 3 meters of slack is paid out once the unit has landed on the vessel. This will reduce the risk of snatching of the capsule due to heave or loss of station of the vessel. Where appropriate, slew over to place the hook down weather from the capsule. This will increase the allowable vessel drift. With a 30-foot standard sling set, 10 foot of slack will allow for a lateral vessel movement of 22 feet before the slings become tight. However, this does not account for vertical movement of the vessel. Therefore, during transfers, where there is significant heave or more lack should be released. For further information on these recommendations, please refer to the Frog Technical Manual. For the deck crew, it's important to make sure you are fully briefed by the supervisor and that you are aware of any special requirements or risks associated with the transfer. Firstly, make sure all passengers are provided with PPE, personal flotation devices, and are wearing survival suits if appropriate. Next, loosen off the four-point harness and make sure they are not tangled. They should be ready for the passengers. When you're ready, hook up the master link and ensure that the slings are in a safe position prior to the passengers entering the unit. When you are satisfied that the frog and the surrounding areas are both safe, signal the passengers to enter the capsule. Passengers should have been briefed on how to secure their luggage and themselves. However, it is your responsibility to double check that this has been done correctly. Finally, prior to liftoff, ensure that any tag lines are safe and not snagged. Once you are satisfied that all preparations have been completed and the passengers are secure, signal the crane operator and the transfer can get underway. As with any lifting operation, when landing the frog, keep yourself in a safe position. And if using tag lines, be aware of the specific risks as described in the frog technical manual. Once the capsule is firmly on deck and the crane operator has paid out slack on the sling, Ensure the sling is not a hazard for exiting passengers. You can now signal all clear for the passengers to exit. All stop. All clear. If the personal flotation device belong with the capsule, make sure you collect them from the passengers. These can then be stored in the luggage nets. The unique design of the frog allows it to convert to a marine ambulance mode. This enables the safe transfer of sick or injured personnel by stretcher, fitted securely within the capsule. Prior to changing the unit to stretcher mode, consult your client technical manual. Check the guidelines and follow the instructions which are found on the inside of the unit. Firstly, remove the two designated buoyancy panels by removing the bolts. These panels are clearly marked B and C. These two panels can now be fitted to the outside of the unit. Lift them using the handles in the sides. This now allows plenty of room for the stretcher. After panels B and C are secured to the outside of the unit, it is necessary to remove the seat in between these two units. Simply loosen the two lower and one upper bolts and the seat can be easily removed. 
Once the seat is removed, tidy the harness and remove the bolts from the seat base. The frog is supplied with a stretcher frame. This frame should be stored in a safe, convenient place. When a unit is ready, remove the wing nut from the frame. Slide into place and secure by replacing the wing nut and bolt. Once these preparations have been completed and checked, the stretcher with the injured party can then be moved into place and secured. The stretcher frame has two straps for securing the stretcher. It is advised that when lifting the stretcher into the frog, there should be two people on either side of the stretcher and one at the foot. Slide the stretcher in head first. The stretcher can now be secured using the straps on the stretcher frame below. Thread the straps through the eyes in the frame. Loop the strap through the stretcher handles on either side of the stretcher. Then pass the straps back underneath, fasten, and tighten securely. A medic or another crew member can now use one of the spare seats and the transfer can proceed safely. Being small in footprint and relatively lightweight, the unit can be easily stored. It does not need to be stored in a high load-bearing surface. Finally, a reminder, safe transfers require planning, preparation, well-designed and maintained equipment, and good communication. Take the trouble to do it right.